Okay, so now I'm gonna do the back end clear. I'm gonna teach you uh, a few techniques, uh, especially that people don't know how to use back end at all for the clear. The most easy way to do the back end clear, I usually that I ask my players to sit. The reason that I ask them to sit, if you can see that most of the beginner players, when they do backhand, they do the full swing and they do not do it properly. Either their, their elbow is just flat like this, okay? Because this is normal when they do this kind of swing because they just want to try to get a power, but not with, without, without a, a proper technique. So today, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my players just to sit down only, so he doesn't need that to use uh, so much power to just to do the backhand clear. If you can, if you see that a players that that they wanna do a backhand clear and they have to require so much energy, and that is wrong. Okay, so in badminton, technique is important because it's all require either your finger, your wrist, and your back apps everything too so so i'm gonna fit the bird for tommy first i'm gonna get i'm gonna explain more detail about how we're gonna do uh, more properly about the uh, backhand shot so i'm gonna fit the bird normal so as you see that he can sit he sit down on me when he sit down he cannot turn his body too much. That is the purpose that why I ask the players just to sit down, so he cannot move that much, so he doesn't have to do, require so much movement, a body movement, upper body movement, just to do a normal or simple backhand clear shot only. So, now, the key, when on the backhand, when the contact point, holy racket, when the contact point, when I throw the bird already, when the contact point, make sure that the elbow have to be higher than your shoulder, okay? If the elbow, it's almost equal than your shoulder, so when your elbow equal than your shoulder, so the shot that you will hit, it will, it will be limit. When I say it's limit, that means that you either can do flat shot or high shot only. Why? Why the elbow have to be higher than the shoulder? Yes, we are now practicing the high clear only, but in the future, this movement can be drop shot, can be backhand smash, or can be any cross cut shot. But if you only do the shot in here only, that is, then in the future, you won't be able to hit the shot, go down, stiff, okay? So now, one more time again, you see that the elbow have to be higher, contact point, higher, contact point, higher, Contact point, higher. Okay. Contact point, higher. Contact point, again, higher again. Okay, now. That is for the elbow, higher. Now, the other trick for the backhand, let's say the grip, the grips. The grips for the backhand is more tricky because when you do drive, when you do net shot, when you do backhand straight, when you backhand cross, it's all different. Now, for the backhand clear, for the backhand clear, we cannot press our thumb, full thumb, especially on this side, like how we do tap, drive, we use full thumb. We use full thumb power. What happens if we do backhand clear? If I do backhand clear, and I use my full thumb in here, you look at how is my swing now. So it's, you see that, the body coordination, my elbow, my everything like this, the angle, it's gonna be hurt me, okay? Or it will stop me that I cannot use my full power. So the best way when you do, when you do high clear, backhand high clear, make sure your thumb do not press full thumb. You only press a little bit half only, as you, as you can see my thumbs in here, as you can see my thumbs in here, on the side only, on the, on the edge of this grip only, so you'll be able to turn it. When you turn it, you have more power to snap it, to go down, to cross. So make sure that it's, that is the proper way to do the backhand clear. 
backhand. If you see that, if you see that my thumbs right now, I go like this. But if I want to do cross court, so I just turn this way only. So, so by by have this grip, by have this grip that I have, I have more choice to hit the shot, either straight, either go down, or either cross. But if I go do full time only, that I cannot have so many choice when my rackets go up only, okay? So this, the full thumbs usually that people only do drive only, do drive only, when the bird is lower, lower. When the bird, when the contact point is higher, we cannot use our full thumb uh, press. So I'm gonna do one more time again. Okay. Hey. 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 Okay. So, so this is usually that I did it to the players. Have you uh, stand up a little bit? As you can see, as you can see that when I put the chair, it's a bit 45 degree, or instead of this one, okay, or this way. So I'm going to put this way a bit because why? This is the position that when we go, it's the same thing. Okay? Because we won't do the backhand during the game in this position for the backhand clear. Okay? Or in this position for the backhand clear. So we're going to come usually from the mid court, front court, or uh, on the right side to go to the left side. So this is the position. Okay? So now we're going to do without without sitting down, without sitting down. So I'm going to feed the bird to Tommy. You move only. Pass. Again. Turn again. And Pass again. Higher. The contact point. Good. Again. Higher again. Yes. Again. Go. Nice. Again. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you.